Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Battlefield Yugoslavia. Today we will be deciding the Bosnian War once and for all in the Bosnian capital city of Sarajevo. Unlike the previous nine episodes, today we will be fighting against Bosnian Muslim forces. Rather than Croat separatists, we will be fighting Bosnian separatists. We are now fighting in the Bosnian capital, which if we can capture it, will be the decisive point of the war. As you can see, we are cleaving through Bosnian lines. Taking heavy fire, but nonetheless marching onwards. Bosnians are hurling artillery at us, and they took us out. Okay then. That doesn't matter much. For those who are wondering about wondering about the background noises, I'm having a few problems with my computer's mouse. Don't worry about that. Instead, we should be worrying about how this battle will go. If we can capture Sarajevo, the war in Bosnia will be decided once and for all in favor of the Serbs. But if we fail to capture Sarajevo, the Bosnians and the Croatians will get the upper hand in Bosnia which is something that I cannot allow. Not now, not ever. Now, so the Bosnians do have rocket launchers, which is a big, big, big problem for me. However, I won't let that get on my nerves. I'll try to see if I can shell Sarajevo just a little bit. to uh, tin out the Bosnian ranks. I accidentally killed some teammates, but that doesn't matter. We will nonetheless rain down debt upon these Muslims, upon these putrid Mujahideen. Now, let's get into this city and let's retake it for Yugoslavia and for Serbia. Okay, we'll have to take cover behind our tank. And we've been taken out again. These putrid Balias are pushing hard. But we seem to be gaining the upper hand in the battle for the city. And if we can win the battle for this city, as I've said, we will decide the fate of Bosnia, and we will be able to evict the Croats and the Muslim forces from this lovely land. And of course, winning the battle for Sarajevo would bring back a lot of morale, since we effectively lost the previous two battles in Bosnia. This might just be the biggest win of the war, at least the biggest win of 1992. Oh god, we're just falling downhill. Well, we will not let this happen. Come on, you Bosniak scum. Come on, Balia. Make my day. And they shot me. Such is life in Sarajevo. Nonetheless, we will continue to fight. We will make sure that these Muslims never question Serb Orthodox Christian authority or even any Yugoslav authority ever again. As you can see, we have captured the Jamia, which is the mosque of Sarajevo. Which means that the Muslims are now on the losing side of the battle decisively. We shall continue onwards, fighting them and crushing them. There is no worry about losing now. Of course, though, we can't get too cocky. If we start resting on our laurels, we will get our asses kicked by the Muslim forces. Now we are flanking around, firing machine gun 
ammo at these Muslim forces. And we are pushing for the mosque. This won't be the end. Trust me there. Now we are taking heavy fire now. The Muslims are firing rockets and grenades. But we have the upper hand. We are pushing them back. They are losing their bases. And the Serbs can only get stronger. Wait. Do I see Muslims trying to recapture this base? I hope not. There we go. We'll have to get out of the vehicle. Get into the bushes. Shoot up some Muslims. Get back into the bushes. Get back out of the bushes. And take care of a few... Infidels, to say it that way. Some Saracens. Dodge that man's bullets. And get saved by our teammate. And now we will drive our beautiful Yugo around. You can see this is a nice bright red one, not like that dull grey over in Mostar. We will get the T-34 tank later. After all, it can wait. It's been it's been waiting for about 60 years now anyway. So we're going to get some speed and start shooting up the Bosniak forces where we can. This is gonna be a drive-by kind of affair. Come on, get in, Zhivanko. Great. Now we can get these Muslims. We'll run them over. We'll pull off a drive-by. This is it. True gangsters ride in Yugos. Yes! This is just... This is living the life. Groaning Muslims. Serbian assault rifles firing. There's nothing better. These are the sounds of war. Beautiful, beautiful war! Running over Muslim after Muslim, keeping Serbia, keeping Bosnia safe. In the name of Serbdom. Now we'll have to reverse, since we might just get shot for deserting. And we're gonna get shot. Okay, that's... That was kind of an erotic, sensual sound coming out of this Serb soldier here. I guess that's the dignity of um, poverty. I wouldn't know. He could be well off. He could be well off. Who knows? Now this Mujahideen is gonna get it. He's gonna get sucked under this car. Trust me now. These Muslim secessionists will regret their decisions. Even their best assault rifles cannot penetrate the formidable armor of this cheap hatchback made in the beautiful Yugoslavia. And we're still carrying out drive-bys. This is even better. Now, we're gonna have to turn around. We're gonna have to use the wind windscreen wipers to wipe this Muslim filth off of our screen. I apologize to any Muslim viewers. This is, after all, probably triggering their asses off. With good reason, of course, but still. This is war. We are showing you the realities here. To be more specific, I am showing the realities here. Now, where are these Muslim intruders? Infiltrating our own bases. How dare they? I'll have to go and pick up that T-34 tank soon. Since Sarajevo is proving harder to capture than I believe. We have captured the, the mosque once again, it seems. At least that's a plus. Now we'll try and go right off the hill and into these Muslim hordes. And we're flipping, we're flipping, we're flipping, we're flipping back. And we are flipping once again. And flipping, flipping, still flipping, and done with the flipping. Now... We have climbed the hill, we're gonna get some some of our comrades in here. Come on, get in. There we go. We have a heavy machine gun now, we are going to 
press down some suppressing fire on these Muslim forces. We have a horde as well. To warn the Muslims the death is on, their, on its way. We'll go downhill. Get some speed. Dodge some bullets. Fire some her own bullets. And continue our offensive. We have to retake the mosque. And take out as many Muslim troops as we can. That's a really nice petrol station here. We'll see if you can pick up a better vehicle. Hmm. Bosnian Muslim symbols. You know what I say to that? I say no. And that's what I get for defiling their symbols. And now they're marching on our main base. This is terrible news. And I will not tolerate it. This is for Serbia, for Serbs everywhere. Come on here. Get over here, you Balia scumbag. You can't get away from serfdom or from justice. Not even just this once. We'll have to reload our weapons, prepare to defend the base, and to launch a counter-offensive. Since the Muslims are starting to tin out our ranks, and I will not tolerate this. Not one little bit. This might end up counting as genocide at the rate at which we're killing these Muslim forces, but I do not care. We need to win this battle. We will win this battle, no matter what happens. Come on, Tihomir, get into the vehicle if you haven't been killed already. Oh, Tihomir got shot, okay. May he rest in peace, after all. He served, he served the fatherland. Now, I see some more Muslim forces. Let's give them a taste of Serbian cannons, shall we? As you can see, we are marching onwards. We are deciding the Bosnian War in one fell swoop. We are crushing the Muslims so that we will never have to consider them as a threat again. Hopefully the battle won't drag on for too long. Since the Bosnians will be taking, well the Bosniaks will be taking enough casualties that they will no longer be able to sustain their effort pretty soon. Now, the T-34 is ours. Let's, let's put it to very, very good use. We're gonna get up to full speed, full speed ahead. We are gonna run over some Muslim scumbags right here and right now. There's no me messing with Serbia and no rest for the weary. Let's continue. Okay then, so I see some more... Oh, I see Serbian reinforcements, that's good. But I see a sneaky Muslim getting up behind them. Hmm. We're getting flanked, and they're just magnetizing towards the Serbs. It's like some kind of radar. So we will be going around these communist-era prefab apartment blocks and getting back into the fight. Hopefully we can continue dealing heavy casualties on the Bosniak forces. We now have a tank gunner. I'd rather not have one to be honest, so I could just switch between the positions myself. But by this point it doesn't matter. I believe that we can win. We're gonna have to fight hard though, we're gonna have to struggle for this victory, but we will win. No matter how many bullets it takes, no matter how many Serbs die fighting, and certainly no matter how many Muslims we have to kill, we will win this. Anything but victory would be a shame upon all, all of Serbdom. Since our main base is once more under threat. The Bosniaks aren't letting us off easily, but we won't let them off either. Now let's advance in one great effort to decide the Bosnian War 
and by extension the Croatian War once and for all now and forever unto the ages of ages we will show the superiority of serfdom and of the Yugoslav ideal perhaps dominated by Serbs perhaps not of course though this is now a three-way war which means not only that we will be fighting on two fronts against both Croats and Muslims but also that the Muslims and Croats will start to fight amongst each other which will make things all the more easy for us now we aren't gonna let any of these Balias sneak up on us and by the way Balia is Serbian slang for Muslim by just in case um, anybody here isn't familiar with the term either way we will continue to put down this resistance running over anyone who dares get in the way of our armored vehicle and advancing on all foreign and enemy bases now let's go right down the middle of the street down the tram tracks since I doubt any of my comrades will be using those anytime soon of course the Bosniak forces have an advantage here in Sarajevo it's a mixed city but with a slight Bosniak majority from what I remember but we will not let that get in our way as you can see we are crushing these Bosniak forces and if we can win the battle of Sarajevo we'll be able to achieve something, to accomplish something that the Serbs historically were never able to. They will only ever manage to lay siege to the city, surrounding it for about three years. However, they never captured the city in real life. Today, I think things are going to be a little bit different around here. But only if we can retake the mosque and guarantee that we will not lose our main base. Because if we lose our main base, things might go even worse than in Mostar. Now we're gonna get out, shoot some Bosniaks with our own assault rifle, get back in, advance a little bit, and we'll try and capture this vehicle which I assume is in a better condition, which it is. We'll just blow that one up in case the Bosniaks try to hijack it. And we'll recapture this base an integral area within Sarajevo's center. Of course we will have to go back to attack the Bosniak for forces which are laying siege to our main base, since losing that would be a very heavy blow to us. The mosque has been recaptured. I repeat, the mosque has been recaptured will be blown away if these Muslims try anything suspicious. Now what's this man doing in my way? He ought to know what happens if you mess with the Serbs. They'll never mess with the Serbs again after this if you ask me. Now anybody else looking for a beating? Yes, they are. We're going to lay down some heavy suppressing fire. Sure, we've taken a rocket from the Bosniak forces, but we shouldn't be afraid to take rockets from them. If anything, it is an honor to give one's life and to shed one's own blood for the motherland. For Yugoslavia, for Serbia, for Montenegro, aka Crnagora, and for all South Slavs. We will not let this war be lost. Not now, not tomorrow, and not any other day, so long as we live. Sure, we may accidentally kill some of our own comrades on the way, running over men such as poor Zhivanko. But we will nonetheless make our point heard and get our forces into the best position possible. Bosnia for the Serbs is what I say. 
These Bosniaks are too busy laying siege to our base to actually notice that we are flanking their asses hard. And that is of very good use to us. Now, I'll try the Zastava M72, which is a slightly heavier rifle from what I remember. I think it's based on the RPK machine gun. So the Bosniaks are sending in vehicles. This is not good one bit. Nonetheless, we have a heavier gun now. We can help put down this assault. It might take a minute. It might even take longer. But we cannot let the base fall. Because if it does fall, the consequences will be very, very grave. Besides the fact, of course, that many Serbs would end up in their graves if the base falls. Because the truth is, no matter what side wins this battle, ethnic cleansing is quite likely. Hopefully not necessary, but likely nonetheless. We will have to give up our advantage in the mosque area in central Sarajevo in exchange for winning this battle near our own barracks. Because otherwise, we will be overstretching ourselves, and we cannot afford to overstretch ourselves by even a single inch. This battle is too crucial to risk anything. Even a single Serbian life lost can lead to this battle turning around abruptly. Even a single base compromised could lead to us being kicked out of Bosnia and eventually losing the war. Which is why I will be doing my best to secure this base for the one true nation that controls all, that ought to control all of Bosnia. No one shall stop us now, not even the West. If the Americans dare attack, if NATO attacks, we will stop them in their tracks, just like we stopped the Croatians and just like we're stopping the Bosnians. To all who challenge us, I say, Živija Serbia! And Živija Yugoslavia! We will not allow ourselves to be kicked out of our ancestral lands. Not today, and not any other day. It is time to descend upon the Bosniak forces once more, and crush their dreams of independence. They will rue the day that they ever challenged Serb authority, that they ever tried to leave the multi-ethnic Yugoslav Federation. They will come out of this much worse than they entered. Not even their strongest invisible rockets can pierce our heavily armored vehicles now. It's all gonna be over soon. Trust me. The nightmare is coming to an end. Of course, there will be many more battles against stragglers and Bosniak resistance. And even against desperate Croat forces. But no longer will they be able to take us on as equals. We will have superiority in every single battle from now on if we can win in Sarajevo. And that is what we are aiming for now. In this battle, that will decide the future of Bosnia, and the future of all of Yugoslavia, if not the entirety of the Balkans, for now and for the foreseeable future. Nobody will come between a Serb and his fatherland ever again. Because if anything, these Bosniaks are only just Muslim Serbs. We share a language and a history, we share a culture. It's not my fault that they want to leave the Federation. And it's not my fault that they're gonna get hurt real bad for it. Now this is probably the fiercest urban combat you've seen in this entire series. And, like you've seen in most of the other urban combat in this series, we will prevail. We won in Bukovar, we got a stalemate in Dalmatia, 
But we will win in Sarajevo. No matter what. To lose in Sarajevo is to lose in all of Bosnia. And to lose in all of Bosnia is to give away our one chance of winning in Croatia. And we're getting chased after by Muslim. We'll try and go into this apartment block. And go after this other entrance. And go back in. We'll climb upstairs. See if we can find a vantage point. I really, I really like the detailed interiors in this mod. Sure, everything's the same. But that's what it was like in real life as well. Nice uniform corridors. We're slowly climbing up this entire apartment block. By the time we get to the top, the battle will probably be over. Nice clothes being left out to dry here. But now at this vantage point, we will put an end to the Bosnian resistance in Sarajevo. They tried messing with the Serbs. They've learned their lesson, I hope. If they don't learn their lesson today, they will learn it soon enough. Now it's time to fire off some celebratory gunfire. Yes, we have won! Sarajevo is ours! Sarajevo is Serbian! And on that fantastic ending, I would like to thank each and every one of you for watching this episode. We have turned our fortunes around completely in the Bosnian War, and at this rate, we can win. We will, fa we will succeed where the Serbs failed historically, and we will re-establish Yugoslav control over all of the former territory. I have been the Nerd Gamer. Thank you everybody for watching. I will see you all next time.